Hi guys, Stone Lawrence here, CEO of STA Research. I'm a financial analyst and a trader. And uh, one of the uh, most common questions I get, uh, like a lot of people say to me, hey, you know, I wanna start investing, how do I do it? Um, you know, uh, really interested, you know, can you give me a, a couple of ideas? Well, basically, um, you know, the easiest way if you want sort of long-term capital gains, you wanna be a passive investor, there's sort of three steps that you wanna kind of follow. First of all, um, you need a trading account. So I suggest you just go to your financial institution, whoever you have your main uh, bank account at, and you just open up a trading account uh, through them. That's the easiest way you can have funds going through your trading account uh, to your investing account quite easy. Of course, unless you want to, um, you know, unless you want to be a sort of an active trader, um, you know, and, and uh, you obviously you want uh, certain characteristics for your platform, different sort of uh, metrics and, and uh, information available. Uh, it doesn't quite honestly matter uh, which platform you're on uh, if you're just gonna be a, a passive investor. So that's number one thing is you just get a trading account set up. Um, number two, um, you basically want to choose um, 10 to 15 stocks um, my preference would be to someone who just wants to start off be a passive investor. Uh, I would say uh, 10, 15 good uh, quality uh, dividend stocks. Um, you know, combination of uh, sort of financial stocks, banks, uh, insurance companies, uh, utilities, uh, maybe a couple of the uh, big uh, oil majors, something like that. A little bit of little bit of diversity, uh, you know, through there as well. But uh, some serious uh, blue chip uh, stocks there. Uh, sturdy, uh, tried and true, boring. You don't want anything fancy, uh, nothing new, uh, just uh, tried and true. Um, so you basically want to choose, uh, as I say, 10 to 15 uh, dividend paying stocks. And one of the easiest ways to do that, behind me on our platform, we have a stock screener. Uh, so all you want to do is you can put in, you know, the, the country uh, where, you, uh, where you are, where you want to invest in, the type of, um, you know, obviously it's going to be a stock, um, you know, the industry, um, you know, where they want to be a, a dividend stock and as such. So you can sort of uh, you manipulate uh, those metrics there and it outputs and gives you, um, you know, with all the uh, data points that we have, the best uh, sort of uh, stocks in, in uh, those fields there for you to, to look at and research uh, further and uh, maybe help you make some decisions based on uh, what your portfolio is going to look like. Um, from there, once you, once you do that, Number three is one of the most, <clears throat> excuse me, difficult one for people is you got to have patience. And regardless of what any uh, sort of financial advisor, professional, whatever tells you that you can't time your market, they're, they're right to a point you cannot, uh, you know, certainly catch the bottom uh, in a market. Uh, but what you can do is you can make it a bit more conducive uh, to buying at certain times, um, you know, so your entry point, uh, when you're getting in the market, you're certainly not at a high point. Um, you basically try and get into when the when you see a major correction, uh, twenty percent or more, uh, a crash or something like that. So of of course the dot com back in the uh, you know around the, you know late nineties two thousand uh, two thousand and eight, uh, just before the pandemic there, um, you know or or the start of the pandemic uh, when when stocks crashed there, those are all good good points and and one of the main characteristics are if people say stocks suck you know stocks are over game over um that's sort of your 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 sign as a good time to enter now you're not going to catch the bottom uh we do recommend when you see sort of volatility that you see a crash you see a correction that you sort of hedge your way in so you might uh you know uh gradually buy the stocks you know 10 15 stocks you you buy in incrementally maybe every five ten percent drop or something like that uh, so you don't go all in one and then you have a big slide uh, so you want to spread that risk out uh, once you see that the, the values come back so and from there that's basically uh, how you uh, get yourself uh, into the market uh, for the first time uh, just follow those uh, three uh, basic uh, steps there um, you know get your uh, get your investment account set up uh, you know choose your your 10 15 stocks and then number three is your patience you wait for the right uh, market timing. All right, guys, thanks very much for, for checking in. Appreciate it. If you have any questions, uh, just let us know. Have a good night. Cheers.